Asian longhorn beetle is a very showy insect. In China, they call it the star in the night sky beetle. It's shiny black with very distinct shiny white spots. Very long antennae, which is how it gets its name, the longhorn beetle. It's a big insect. It's very large. Um, there are insects in Vermont that are native that look similar. So don't be surprised if you do see a black insect with white spots with long antennae. They may be our native insects. Don't panic, but if you're not sure, we love people to bring those, those specimens in and check in with us and say, is this the native insect or is this Asian longhorn beetle? Because early detection is the most important way we're going to get a handle on this insect. Asian longhorn beetle is an insect that lives inside the tree. It's a wood boring insect. It spends a little time eating the underneath the bark, but most of its life is spent right inside the wood, sometimes deep in the wood. It spends a year or two on inside that wood before it comes out again. So it's hard to detect in the beginning. But when it comes out, it makes a, a very round and fairly large hole. It looks very much like an old fashioned tap hole on, on a sugar maple tree. Uh, another thing that people see is a lot of sawdust associated with that hole. It's a very coarse looking sawdust. It may be piling up at the base of the tree or near the hole. Another thing that folks could look for for Asian longhorn beetle, when it lays its eggs, it excavates a very small scratch mark about the size of a dime in the side of the tree. So Asian longhorn beetle got to most of the places it is right now in North America on solid wood packing material. That means pallets, crates, spools, any large untreated wood material um, that things might be transported on. Um, most of those things and most of those introductions occurred before there were regulations in place to treat solid wood packing material. We're really happy that there have been no detections of Asian longhorn beetle that seem to have started since those regulations went in place. That's the really good news. The bad news is that now it's, that it's here, we have an opportunity to spread it ourselves. And things like moving firewood are ways that Asian longhorn beetle has in fact spread from, for instance, central New York City to the suburbs on Long Island. We think that's how it spread from Worcester, Massachusetts to a very small infestation in Boston. So another insect that's, uh, that travels best if we, tra if we bring it with us. It likes a lot of our trees in Vermont. Almost half of the trees in Vermont are susceptible to Asian longhorn beetle. It has a variety of deciduous trees that are hosts, but most significantly, it loves maple trees. And one out of four trees in Vermont is a maple tree. The sugar maples, the red maples, the less uh, well-known and well-loved box elders in Norway maples are all hosts to Asian longhorn beetle. Um, so we're quite at risk should that insect show up here. Now, Asian longhorn beetle is not, has not been a fast mover. It's been found in a variety of isolated locations, notably Chicago, notably New Jersey, and most recently around Worcester, Massachusetts. Uh, one thing that has turned out to be the case with Asian longhorn beetle is if it's detected when it's, the infestation is small, um, the government has had success in getting rid of it. That's a pretty unusual thing for an invasive exotic pest, is to actually what we call eradicate, get rid of it. That's really difficult to do. But with Asian longhorn beetle, there has been some success. In Chicago, there were several thousand trees that were infested. You can't find Asian longhorn beetle in Chicago anymore. All the host trees nearby were cut down, and that did the job. They don't have it. Uh, they're tr it's looking very promising in the New York City area. There, it's been very hard to detect Asian longhorn beetle in most of the infested parts of New York City. Uh, they haven't seen it in New Jersey for a while. Um, in Boston, they seem to have gotten rid of it. The big question mark is Worcester, Massachusetts, where tens of thousands of trees were infested. It's a much bigger problem and it, because it was detected a lot later. It had been in the town quite a bit longer than in New York or Chicago when it was first detected. So they're trying the same strategy. They're trying to get rid of it using both cutting down trees and treating non-infested host trees. Um, and we're just keeping our fingers crossed that this will work. We, we do owe a debt of gratitude to the people of Worcester for the, the um, expense and, and um, dedication that they've put into really removing every host tree possible to try to, try to stop the spread of Asian longhorn beetle and, and actually eradicate it. If Asian longhorn beetle gets to Vermont, because of our forested landscape, we're not going to have the ability to eradicate the beetle. We're going to go to a, more of a slow the spread sort of technique, campaign, whatever, however you want to say it, that um, 
again, it's going to be very crucial that people are educated not to move firewood. We're saying further than 50 miles, but really closer the better.